Stop disrespecting God. Stop disrespecting the Lord God. Hear me out. And hello everyone, I welcome you to the Gospel with Ishmael. You know, as I, I was making this video, or as I'm making it, there's two things. Okay, one thing was already revealed, but the second thing also was revealed. You know, there are two ways you can disrespect or you are disrespecting God right now. And uh, obviously, the first one, you obviously have assumed, but me and myself, I, I respect him, I fear him, what do you mean? I'm sure that's what you want to know, right? Okay, listen. You know, there are people who disrespect God, but they are not aware. But then if you can reason it out, you realize that is disrespect. And there is also disrespecting him. And I'm going to explain what I mean. The Bible says, God cannot be mocked. Do not be deceived. As well as the Bible says, we must fear the Lord above everything else. That is the first thing we must do. First commandment, you must fear the Lord your God. Let me tell you something. What does it mean to fear the Lord? And how is it when you disrespect? And how, what is it when you mock the Lord? You know, I'm just glad that um, some couple of months ago, I came across a video of people who disrespected God or who mocked God and something bad happened. Which also includes that even UFC fighter, is it Conor McGregor, what, what, what? He once said he can beat up Jesus. And they said, according to that uh, compilations, that is how his career started going down. Some women even said something on stage about God. And then immediately she caught the heart attack. She went out cold and she was like, I don't understand what happened. It was after I said this about God. And there is also where you undermine his power, what he can do. Some, some situations, hey, you are out, uh, you, are, you are away. He does not like that. The Lord does not like it when he is disrespected. Some they have a thing where if they are swearing at something, oh, maybe they are watching some new DT stuff. I could even see in some movies when he sees a woman down doing some nudity related. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alva, some, new, like, some wicked stuff. You see, that is why they say that you shall not use the, na the name of the Lord in vain. When situations are tough, never run away thinking that even God can handle it. The Bible speaks in the book of First Kings chapter 7. The man said, even if God can open up the windows of heaven, telling Elisha that such a thing cannot happen. He cannot perform such a miracle. And what did Elisha say to him? Surely it will happen, but you will not eat from it. And indeed, the following day, that man, when those things were happening, he died because he did not believe. He doubted. He disrespected the sovereignty of the Lord. So you see how simple. Some people, yes, they do believe or acknowledge that God, yes, will believe exists, but such are ah, never. That is disrespect. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. May the fear of the Lord be great upon your life. If some way, somehow you've been disrespecting him, maybe you are not aware. I pray that may God forgive you. Also ask for forgiveness on your, on your behalf. And some you might find the way the reasons why some of your blessings were hindered. Because you are disrespecting him. But I pray may the Lord forgive you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And of course, you can book an appointment with me. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.